Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today I want to take a look at a new product that was specifically designed for the iPad Pro 10.5. And this product is brought to us by Logitech, and it's a slim combo keyboard case. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, if you were lucky enough to get your hands on the uh, iPad Pro 10.5, or you're considering it, uh, one of the things that really expands the overall utility of the uh, iPad is being able to um, add a keyboard, especially given the size of the iPad, since it is a slightly larger iPad when it comes to the screen, as well as the, the overall dimensions. I really enjoy having a keyboard. The on-screen keyboard works fine, but I really think that adding a keyboard uh, to it just makes it much more usable. Also, as you'll see as we do the unboxing, this is a keyboard case combo and it also has a place for the Apple Pencil. So let's take a look at some of the things that Logitech is highlighting. We'll do an unboxing and we'll see how it works. So first off, what we'll notice is that we do have a detachable keyboard, um, and it also connects via the uh, proprietary Apple connector. So you don't have to worry about Bluetooth. You don't have to worry about connecting any wires. It's just going to connect really nicely. Uh, it also has this uh, protective case with an any angle stand. Now, this any angle stand reminds me a lot about the uh, Surface Pro, and I'm a fan of the Surface Pro, so I'm really excited to see how that is going to work. You do have some adjustable backlighting, um, and I do quite a bit of typing sometimes in bed or I'm on a plane and it's uh, and the lights are out so having the keys lit up is great and it's really uh, powered by the iPad which is also critical uh, in the past we've seen a lot of keyboards that while they had great battery life you still have to independently charge them so it's great to see something like that where you don't have to uh, worry about charging and once again here you see a lot of the use cases where you may be considering to use and uh, you'll notice right here this is with the keyboard here no keyboard all you're doing is using the stand itself and then um, on the bottom here uh, using that kickstand for FaceTime and then also uh, just again no keyboard but just using the case itself in reading mode. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing we'll see how it looks. Now Logitech has always done a really nice job of how they package your products. So as soon as you open it up you'll notice that you have here an illustration of your uh, iPad and then here you have uh, your keyboard um, so I'm just gonna move this out of the way so here we have our keyboard uh, here it looks like we have the the back uh, component of it that's uh, gonna be the actual case itself so move that to the side and it looks like uh, that's pretty much it there's nothing else included uh, beyond having the uh, keyboard and the case um, just like that all right, so first, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the keyboard itself. So you notice that the keyboard is a, it's not a cloth-based uh, keyboard like you might find with the Surface. Uh, you also will notice that it is made out of a plastic material. The keys, they feel good to the touch. Uh, they're not clicky in any way, uh, but they're, they feel nicely spaced. You'll notice that here is our connector. Uh, and this is the connector that's going to go at the very bottom of your um, iPad. Um, it also has kind of like this rubberized uh, piece right here. Uh, on the bottom, there are no rubber feet at all. It does have, um, it's not cloth material. It's a rubberized material, but it has kind of like a, a grippy uh, texture to it, right? It's, but it's uh, definitely not sticky in any way. It has kind of these uh, this grippiness right here. And then you see that you have the plastic right there. Uh, the back cover that you can see here is made out of, it looks like a uh, polycarbonate shell. And that polycarbonate shell has all the cutouts. It has here the holder for your pencil. It is a slide in one, which is a little disappointing. Um, I like the the way the UAG case has that kind of the clip on one because I find that with time this tends to stretch and your stylus falls out so that's a little disappointing uh, you'll notice the back um, again it's gonna protect your iPad really well has good bumper protection and um, pretty decent amount of material there and then you have this uh, multi-angle kickstand that they were talking about so this comes out and this is gonna allow you to adjust it and there's that's a great range. I really like that flexibility that you see there. Um, you'll notice that you'll be able to prop it at any angle and then it kind of snaps into place once it's closed. So let's go ahead and uh, put our iPad into place and see how it works. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a closer look at the case um, with 
the actual iPad in it. Now, first of all, I'll have to say that it does add some weight to it. I found that compared to the UAG case, uh, that this is um, significantly heavier. There's a lot of weight on the back, uh, this, this, this portion of the case itself. The keyboard itself is relatively light, but I found that comparing it to the UAG case, which um, is more rugged, it does feel lighter than this case and I'm referring to just the back portion itself. Now one thing um, I was disappointed at first is first of all we talked about uh, the strap but I found that the strap um, is pretty tight so this little loop here that is going to hold your Apple Pencil you'll notice as I shake it down there's no no give there but again t only time will tell if this will loosen as you put in an Apple Pencil in and out. And now the other thing I was a little concerned at first was there's no clasp here or flap that's going to keep this open. So very pleased to see that it's magnetic. So it does not open. So you have no problems. And I did some shaking there, quite a bit shaking. But you'll notice right there, it will not open unless it's uh, forced. And I was pushing my finger here, and that's why it popped up. So good that they have that clasp or that uh, magnetic closure that's going to seal the iPad in its case. Now, on the back, let's first start looking at all of the, the ports and whatnot. So you have your speakers exposed nicely, power button. Uh, here you have your camera button, not a problem there, pinhole mic. On the bottom, you have easy access to charging, uh, so no problem there. The keyboard is attached, and it's something that you don't have to have on it so you can remove it just like that and now you have this piece only uh, so that's something that you can do if you'd like and you don't want to uh, carry all that weight with you it snaps in magnetically just like that and now if we take a look at uh, the placement of the Apple Pencil you will notice I'll have to move it down somewhat and I had to move it because if I place it just like this it gets in the way of the volume buttons so that's probably I would say um, a design issue for me. It should, this should have been probably placed a little bit lower so that the Apple Pencil didn't run into uh, this area right here. Or if it had a clip like the UAG, then I wouldn't have that problem. But you have that there, and you notice that it's easily to depress. And even with the pencil in place, um, you could get around it by just bringing your finger in just like that. Uh, when you open up, it does auto on. So you have the auto on feature there. Uh, the keyboard also lights up. You can see how it lit up because it is, again, powered by the iPad. Uh, we'll keep the keyboard off for a second just to talk about protection. You'll notice that there's significant protection. This is nice. It has a lot of protection here. You'll notice the, the amount of uh, material here that's popping out from the screen. You can see that right there. Good protection. So if you do drop your iPad or it gets knocked off a desk or off your lap, you don't have to worry there. So now let's again attach the keyboard and you notice the keyboard connects really effortlessly you don't have to worry about guiding it it's magnetic and it just goes into place so now let's talk about typing and uh, responsiveness so here I'm gonna open up this area and I'm just going to place it like this and then open it up um, auto on as we mentioned and you notice that it has a nice uh, nice angle uh, it works relatively well on your lap uh, but once again it all depends on the angle that you have it in so I just wanted to show you how far down I could go so here we go, we're going all the way down, we're going all the way down, and you could have it as that far down. Um, and what we'll do is we'll bring this a little bit at an angle so you can see how far that leg uh, opens up in the back. So you can get a really, really, really nice angle there when it comes to uh, placement. And this works well if you've been on a plane like I have where the chair comes back and you need to do some gymnastics, that's going to help you. Or again, if you're using this on your lap. All right, so now let's take a look at the keyboard. I'm going to zoom into the keyboard for a second just so that you can see what's going on here. Uh, keyboard, pretty standard keyboard. Logitech has been making keyboards for a very long time, and I would uh, only expect that they would have a great keyboard, nothing less than that. Typing experience is good. You do have dedicated buttons here at the very top, as you can see. Apple proprietary buttons, home button, uh, brightness, uh, and also you can raise it or decrease it, search functionality. You do have the keyboard lighting that you can change. You have multimedia function. Functionality. You do have arrow buttons, which I appreciate having. So for the most part, this is a, uh, a full function keyboard with the exception of the number keypad being here. And as I rest, uh, you know, you have this rest here and it's kind of, um, there's a lip here where it comes up. Um, it really allows for this part of your hand to rest on it. And typing is actually uh, really good with this. Uh, so you won't have any uh, troubles there. Now, one of the things I'm going to do is uh, just turn off my light so you can see what the keyboard lighting looks like. 
So now from a keyboard lighting, you can see this is this does a really nice job from lighting up. So we'll go ahead and, and touch that one more time. So it has kind of, um, it will turn off, so it's not going to be annoying all the time. So after a couple of seconds of inactivity, you notice how it goes away. But as soon as you start typing, it uh, it kind of lights up. And, and it's just a delight to type on. And also then that light or the backlit capability makes it very easy to use as well. So this concludes my review of the Logitech Slim Combo Keyboard for the iPad Pro 10.5. This runs $129. With tax, you're almost at $150. Uh, very expensive accessories, but you're going to get a case for protection and a keyboard for typing. Uh, I really didn't see many negatives with this case outside of uh, my the thing that I was a little concerned about was the stylus itself and uh, some of the weight that you get when using it. But outside of that, I think it's a great option for those of you who are looking for a uh, keyboard combination for the iPad Pro 10.5, and it's still $20 cheaper than I Apple's product. So if you have any comments or questions about this video, leave it in the comment area below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.